Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Depth of Extinction. This is a game that's been developed by HOF Studios, which is a, a solo dev working on this. We've been working on it for quite a while. I, I don't know if it was in Steam Early Access or if I just remember seeing it on itch.io for a while. Uh, but old Mike Stumhofer has deleted, has deleted, has created this one, and uh, it's it's he sells it as a FTL meets XCOM kind of a game, and and yeah, it kind of fits that description. Maybe like a lightweight version of that, where uh, humanity is all underwater. I think something like Waterworld. Am I dating myself here? Uh, where there's just little pockets of land around basically an ocean planet, and we're getting trying to get through those various points around the map, kind of FTL style, and then once we get to those missions, it plays out kind of XCOM style. So uh, let's try it out and see what it is all about. So let's jump in here. I'm going to skip the prologue, and I'll explain what all is going, going on here. All right. His name is what? His name is what? <laughs> Okay, uh, our goal here, objective, we are the, uh, we're the Republic, yeah, Hydra, one or the other, and we are trying to get to the Blue Lagoon to get the Code Scrambler. Getting there will will advance the story, that's our reward for doing this. Uh, we have a map over here, we can see we're at, we are in the middle zone right now. Uh, within that zone, let's go ahead and jump into the loadout here. Uh, well, we'll get that in just a second. Uh, go away, help, I know what I'm doing. We have to first, FTL style, select our submarine we're going to be starting with. Uh, we have a tanker, an armored, and a standard sub. We only have 100 bucks, so we're going to buy the cheapo standard sub right now. And we have two team members here. Go away, help. I don't know. Uh, we have, I wish I could get rid of help. Um, Chromos Reed uh, will add you to the team, and we have, uh, we're going to call you Fox. We're going to add you to the team as well. Now, we got 50 bucks left, so we can purchase one of these mercenaries. We got Mizzen is a, uh, what do you, you, you have a minigun. And you're also a wrecker. Danger to himself and others. Well, that's... I'm um, a light, lightning rifle on you, a sniper on you, and uh, I, got, I gotta go with it. I gotta go with a minigun. Yeah, get in here. Um, I'm hiring you. Okay, so we've got location of the Code Scrambler. That is the, the strange android told us about. That's the prologue we missed. Uh, based on the enemies that attacked him, we better get there quickly and secure it. So basically, go get the Code Scrambler is the idea so we can get to this place. Uh, let's launch the sub. Uh, yeah, let's launch. Okay, so now we are in this zone right up here. We're going to jump around. We're trying to get this zone, this one down here, to get the code scrambler. Um, we have to go through these various points, FTL style, and we'll see. We got, you know, a, a thing of fuel over here. We got some cash. We have, well, we have zero cash. Uh, we want to go to, we have two choices. We can go to the Amaranthine Sanctuary, which is uninhabited, or we can go to Dead Man's Port, which apparently is friendly. Uh, well, let's go over here to the Sanctuary. Now, once we go into there, now we're in another zone which has various points on there. We can ver make our way through the path. We have choices now. Do we go to the warehouse? It's going to cost us a fuel to get there. Uh, I think there's, that means there's actually fuel there as well. No, maybe it costs us one. Equipment and supplies are stored there, so we may find some things in there. Uh, we don't know what's in that one, and this one is we don't know. So, yeah, let's jump to this one over here. Why not? Besiege Raider Stronghold. Oh, good choice. You find your sub surfacing in the middle of the battle between pirates and raiders. Before you can descend and escape, the pirate ship spots you and moves in to attack. We can engage the pirate ship or try to charge the raider base. Which one do we want to do? We'll go for the pirate ship. You turn toward the pirate ship and aim to take it down before it can call in help. All right, to the mission loadout. We are now going to make sure that now we're getting into the XCOM part of the game. We have Chromos, uh, Fox, and, and Mizzen here. What's the uh, money thing? Uh, hired gun will only work for you this objective at the hired rate. Oh, I forgot that's how that works, isn't it? Okay, yeah, so I hired her as a mercenary. Mercenaries only work for one mission. So, uh, hopefully we get some work out of her. Eliminate the hostiles. Yeah, let's launch this mission. We can, we, we can change the guns around if, if we had ones. I guess we have a rusty shotgun in our pocket. Uh, armor, um, we have fireproof or standard. I don't know what the difference is between these two. I don't really know. Uh, oh, there we go. So this one gives us no burning. It says this one gives us health. So yeah, wear that one. Sure. Can I? Equip it. There you go. And we got a frag. Okay, nothing else can go in that pocket. Let's go launch the mission and see what we can do here. And uh, kill some pirates. All right, ship attack. So we are in our sub, they are in their sub. Now, this plays out very uh, new XCOM style, just a pixel version of it, uh, to where, you know, move, attack, that kind of a thing. There's some interesting changes to it, however. Notice, 
I have a 100% chance of shooting this guy because I'm close enough. So the idea of like being point blank at someone and 99% and chance and then still missing doesn't happen here. Because we're close enough, we can still get a shot. I'm actually going to move you, however, over here. Actually, you know what we could do? We have a frag. Can I hit? Uh, I want alt. Also, I want. I can't hit. You guys are too far away. Okay. Well, I will not frag then. I will shoot. I'm going to walk over here, though. Go, go, go. And shoot that guy. Like that. Three damage. Okay. Uh, now we got a bit of cover. I guess this guy has a bit of cover. So we're going to just stand back here and shoot. There you go. Critical shot. He's dead. Uh, now you have a minigun. 59% chance we can scoot up a little bit. Let's, let's get a little closer. And let him have it. Oh, yeah. Only two points of damage. That's terrible. I guess it's just more of an area effect thing. Yeah, yeah, and you're going to die probably. I thought I thought, I thought, thought your minigun was cooler than that. Okay, uh, as you can see, they've dropped some some things along the way, like like uh, like ammo or whatever. Now, um, Mizzen here is the one I want to move. Now, we can do a couple different options here. We can go Overwatch, of course. Uh, we can go into a defend mode. We can defer, so say, like, you know what? I don't want to move. We'll let Fox go first, and then I'll and then I'll go. Uh, which we may try. There's also a follow mode we'll show later. Um, I think we'll just shoot from here. 49% chance, 46. Not really good, but fire. No, you missed. No, you missed. All right. Um, so yeah, I want you to defer. Did I do it? You defer. Okay. So now she will go, and then as soon as she's done, the other guy will go. Uh, why don't you? Uh, if they were closer, this would be great. But come stand, like, over this way. Just get a little bit back a bit. We'll get a little range between you. 75%. That's good. That's good. That's good. Fire. Picked up four bucks from that guy. You missed. You missed. Um, he has cover, so I'm going to leave him there and just fire your shot. There you go. There you go. One, one to go. Okay, I got another shot. Mizzen's not feeling too good. 57%. Uh, let's just scoot up just a bit here, over here. And why is it 35 now? It was 57 a second ago. Can I, can I throw my frag far enough? Good enough. But you're still alive. You got a grenade in your face. Fire again. There we go. Okay. Activate. No, not yet. We want to pick up the loot. So let's get you come up here and pick the stuff up. You stand on it and take the stuff. Can I get their ship also? Because I would like to have that. All right, now we get to go see how everyone did. And we've gained some XP. We haven't leveled up yet, but we got some points for killing folks. And we got 13 bucks out of the mission. I guess I don't get their stuff. We sink it. Scuttle the ship. Okay, and now that zone is complete. Now we move on to the next one. And that's pretty much how it plays out. That was a ship-to-ship -ship combat, but there's other versions uh, of this. Um, I see you see is still here. I'm not quite sure how that works. Oh, oh, only when you get this objective. So once I get to the final point that I'm going to, that's what I hire for. I get it. I get it. Uh, we got houses. We have nothing over there. Let's go to the residential zones. Pirate controlled waters. Feel if pirate ships control the waters here. Pirates almost always try to attack moving targets. So there's no traceable signs of their involvement. Occasionally they'll raid a platform for supplies or glory. Uh, let's enter cautiously. Your caution wasn't enough to slip past the patrols. The small pirate ship speeds towards you. Okay, I think we're getting another, uh, getting another ship combat thing. Didn't pick anything up. Uh, here, so we're just gonna stick with our standard loadout that we had before. I guess frags are unlimited. They can just carry one. Um, let's launch this mission then. Sometimes we'll find. Uh, I, I play a little bit before. I probably play about 30 minutes of this. Um, and you'll have like rescue missions. You'll have um, like, you'll have, like someone you have to, a civilian to go save. There's others you have to go find someone to go chat with a merchant. Um, there's various types. Uh, one of them is in a warehouse. This is the same kind of mission we just did, so we're going to go ahead and just do what we did. Again, I guess. Just come stand over here and blast that guy. There you go. Let's just do it this way. Stand over there and just fire at him. There you go. He's down. Now, you, we know, we don't want to go charging in. No guns ablazing this time. Just fire at that one. Oh, nice. You killed him. Like a pro. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what I was thinking. All right, he's at wait thirty four percent, but we can get a little closer. Thirty five. No. Now you notice there's a green area. I'm gonna explain this. There's a green area. That's that's our where we can move to. Uh, the orange is where we can double move to. Um, one thing that's pretty cool. We haven't. We'll see it once we get into a um, a like a ground based mission. 
not a ship mission, we'll be able to see some of the differences with something like uh, like XCOM. There you go. No, 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 pick the stuff up. All right, come grab this. Come grab some of that. Grab oop, some of that. All right. Now level up, anybody? Yeah, Fox is leveled up. Okay. I, re I refuse to say his name. His name is Fox. Level yes. up, Fox. Okay, so now we get to choose our class. He is, uh, he's a nothing right now, but we get, we get to pick who we want him to be. Do we want him to be an assault class, which is someone like a shotgun guy? He can be a dead eye sniper. Uh, soldier is sort of a jackter, uh, a jack, jackter? Jack of all trades. Wrecker is a heavy weapons person, like what Mizzen is. Wildcat carries an SMG, spray and pray. And Warden is like our, oh, he has a launcher, does he? Um, we're gonna go assault with this guy, I think. Close combat, yeah. There you go, buddy. Now, as we level up, we get to add in some skills. And once you hit certain ranks, you gain abilities. I mean, Khan gives you some, like, hit points and things, but when we hit level 5, and he gets restores hit points on every turn. Awareness, he can fire two Overwatch shots on a turn. Uh, weapon reloads and doesn't cost any actions. And you're gonna be a shotgun guy. Sprint twice as fast. We can also go into assault. If moved and shot results in a kill, get another movement action. Yeah, we want that. So we're gonna put a point into assault so next time we can get that. Yeah. Let's get some action. Yeah, put that headband on, buddy. You're level two. Alright. Uh, done? Done. Now let's go over here to residential again. Precarious residential platform. Residential platform located amidst jagged rocks and debris. Right, we're on the big ocean, right? There's things that are sort of drifting around. Uh, if you can maneuver your ship, your, your sub, between the rocks of wreckage uh, of the ships that crashed on them, you might find some friendly faces here. Yeah, well, cautiously approach. Slowly, methodically make your way between the rocks and other hazards, hazards to make it to the platform. These people don't have much, but they buy some of your spare food off of you. Oh, we got some cash. Okay. Now to the uh, to the exit. Yeah, let's leave. All right, so now we're one step away. Now we can get to the go to the main zone, and we have to get to here. So we want to go uh, industrial or industrial. We're gonna go industrial. Small sh uh, merchant ship flanked by several warships, ready to be uh, ready to help should should a deal go south. Yeah, let's hail him. Enthusiastically shows all you his his wares. I'll buy some things. I got some money. I will sell you. What what do I use headphones for? Be less likely to be stunned. Huh. Um, I can buy a lightning rifle. I can buy another minigun, a kerchief for less poison chances. A lightning suit. Uh, and just an SMG. I will take a little bit of fuel. That's all I really want. All right, so I'm going to sell you off this this fireproof suit. Sure, I don't want it. I'll give you that. I will take two fuel, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I do want to outfit yes, this guy with... Can I change it here? Oh, I do it on the loadout screen, so not right here. Okay. Another location that the co of the code scrambler... Uh, strange Android toilet is about. Okay, same thing. Um, hospital. Or unknown. Let's go to the hospital. Many citizens saw the virus conflicts happening around them and retreated to a safer waters. You may have a little trouble navigating the sub to them, but should you reach there, they should be willing to help you out. Okay, we'll approach. Suspicious Republic officer greets you. On seeing proof of your mission, he offers you some fuel. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh, thanks. Industrial or residential. Let's go industrial. Mobile weapons cache. You see the signs of a floating barge indicating a weapon mo uh, mobile weapons cache. Doesn't look to be in great shape and may have been picked clean already. Only one way to find out. Yeah, let's take a look. See several sentries posted out front. There may still be something of use here after all. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you, buddy, you get a shotgun now because that's what you do. Equip that thing. All right. All right, now let's launch this mission. Yeah. Are we on another boat-to-boat -boat mission? I hope it looks different. Oh, no. Okay, we're actually in a facility. All right, so let's investigate the facility. Now, we have a map up here. You can see the, you can see the facility up this way. Uh, one thing we can do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. Um, so we can manually sort of move folks around here. This is my sub. We're going to go... Let's go this way. Go, go, go. Open that, open that door. Oh, we spotted an enemy already. That guy. Now, uh, why didn't it... Well, I was about to say, normally whenever you move, you spot somebody, you get a free move to move somewhere else. We didn't get it this time for some reason. Um, Alright, so I want you to walk up here, and you're going to blast them. 
There you go. Okay, and I want you to come on up here. And you know what? Just just stand in the middle of the way. It's fine. 100% chance. There you go. Get him. Oh, we found somebody else. All right. So now I want you to come on up to the side here. You can see... Loot spot. Oh, that, that thing. Uh, you can see there is cover and things like that. We're, uh, we are at good cover because the thing is full. 100% chance. Go ahead and take it out. There you go. Um, I want you to do the same thing. Get behind this half cover here. And blast them with not as good a shot because of your uh, gun. Pick up some loot. Okay. Come on over here. And let's loot that thing next turn. Uh, so one thing we can do... Uh, actually, let me... Um, we'll do that next turn. Hang on. You just, just sit tight. Just sit and do nothing. You Come on over here. Yeah. Overwatch. Sure. Oh, reload. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab in the box here. And we got some headphones. All right. All right. Now, follow mode. Here's what we're going to do. So rather than manually moving everyone around, you know, like you do, uh, we're going to set... Who is this? Actually, we're going to set Fox as our point guy. And then the trailer is going to be, I guess, Chromos. We'll, we'll follow behind. We put her in offensive or defensive mode. Followers attempt to stay in cover. In offensive mode, they stay close to the point. I want to keep him up close to me. Okay. So now, I will take control of him. He will move around, and they will sort of move all on their own. And they will do, well, defensively follow in behind. And they're going to automatically, well, here, if I, if I do that. Then they'll just automatically do their turn, kind of keep up with us. And move things around. Move things around a little faster. Uh, one thing it does do, also, is when we're in... Where are you going? Oh, picking up the loot. Uh, is... What was I saying? Go, go, go. Um, oh, if we're not in combat, it doubles our movement speed. So we can just cruise around the base a little faster. I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to end my turn. So everyone wants to get up on me here. Okay, now open it up. No, nobody? Ooh, fuel. I'll take it. Just investigating the facility. That's all we're doing here. Uh, come on. Yeah, come on down this way. Get to that door next turn. There's a fish outside. I'll come on up here. Open the door. And we got one. All right. So, I would like you to... Um, I guess you're going to move on up here. He's going to go with third, so we'll just scoot up real quick. Ah, let's do it. Now it's my. Now we can go. We have zero percent chance of hitting this guy. Let's just get behind some cover. And we'll shoot him next turn. Like that. Oh, we got three of them in here now. Fifty-seven. Uh, this is bad news. Go right up here. Now we can blow up the cover. You can see we can shoot anything in here we want. Uh, we could. Oh, 100 percent chance on him. We could. We're not gonna kill him. If we can throw some grenades around and maybe blow some cover up. Let's try that. Um, I'm going to throw it right here. There you go. So that ruins that ruins some cover. Good. Mm, maybe not. What are you hitting that guy for? Oh, no. You're dead. Who was that? Oh, no. Not Fox. <laughs> Okay, um, I want you to hit... Oh, we could probably frag. We could frag right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, frag right... Oh, you got a... Why is your gun so... Why is... Uh, cause, are you a heavy? Oh, because you're a heavy? It's so much better? Yeah, frag out. Oh, man. All right. Give me loot, buddy. I'm going to loot you. Nope. Okay. Pick up some loot here. Grab some of that. I got to change this around because we lost a guy. So I'm going to go ahead and on point with Mizzen. And where's the, um, let's see, we looted that thing. Guess we have to make our way down south here. We lost Fox already. That was quick. All right, hey, buddy. So, again, I, because I just now see him, I get a free move, which is why I went bigger green, but we're gonna, just going to mow this guy down. Yeah. We don't do cover. We do mini guns of the face for two damage. Actually, you look like you got him for four damage there. Not another one. Dang, he's grabbing behind some cover. Ow. Um, 
Let me get myself behind some cover. And it's pretty terrible accuracy, but I'll take it. There you go. Oh, you blew up his cover too, so we can get a good shot on him. Yeah, just run up here and blast him. 100% chance. There we go. Okay. Pick up his loot and his loot. Come on in here. Reload, please. Yes. There's a box. Okay. And what you got in here? A minigun in here. All right. And we have done it. We've we've cleaned the thing up. Evacuate. Let's get out of here. We got all kinds of XP for that. Fox is dead. Do you not level up? All right. So now let's take a look at our... Uh, how do we get... We need to get a new person, I guess. Yeah. Chromos, um, you are... Just, I'm going to leave you just as, like, a soldier. I think it's probably best. A sniper would be really nice to have, but I can't have a sniper and a, and a demolition person. Can I? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Sniper. And we're going to go up. We'll enter Overwatch after moving twice. Increases your focus and get an aim and damage bonus. We want grit. For her. Okay. There's a hospital over there. There's a warehouse. we got to find a new mercenary. Smoke column. The smoke rises from a residential area. You move your sub in closer and see dead civilians floating in the surrounding water. Outside are several sentries guarding the area. It's going quiet. Quietly, you creep your way toward the entrance of the residential platform. From a distance, you can hear voices talking. They say a civilian is being held in a room in the back. And you make a note of where the location may be based on a small map you see on the wall. Okay, here we go. Let's go save somebody. Just civilian, so I'm, I'm not sure we're actually going to get them back. Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a sniper rifle. Okay, I'm going with a carbine, I guess. All right, let's go rescue the hostage. Okay, they are up there. Now, I believe the way this works is going to be a key in here somewhere. This is a small map. There will be a key somewhere around here to open that door that he is in, I'm assuming. It works the same way as... The one time I played some before. Uh, just go right here, and then we'll... Yeah. Yeah. Nobody? Where is everybody? There's no loot on the ground. There's some loot right down there. Let's go charge over there and grab it. Ah! Oh, oh! Terminal. Okay, there's the terminal that has the key. Or the uh, unlocking thing. We just found some cash on the ground. Come open this thing up so we can open the door. Okay, door unlocked. Excellent. Now let's uh, let's move in here. Heading out. So this is there's a room before we get to the, the hostage. So let's just hang out for a turn. Boom. On your open this thing up. Where's the pirates at? There's one. Okay. Alright, now, um... Come on over this way. Just get some cover. I want you to come up to, like, right here. And blast that guy. There you go. Oh, another one coming around. Oh, he's gonna shoot me in the, in the face! Okay, 68, that's it. Yeah, fire it. There you go. Alright, now 83 is pretty good. Um, I feel like maybe we should get a little better cover, though. Like that, now fire it. Okay, good. Miss. Alright, um... Oh, you know what? Can you just blow up his cover? Oh, it just damaged it. It's pretty tough. Never mind, I just damaged it a little bit. Uh, let's just frag this guy. Let's get this over with. You know what, buddy? Take that. Heading out. Loot spot to where? Oh, this thing. Okay. Come on Ooh. up here. Keep coming. Go grab the that loot. I will pick up this thing. What do we got? A kerchief. Okay, I should wear that. Oh, you know we got some headphones before we never put on. 
Can I not get through here? Heading out. I don't think I can. I can't get through here. Shoot this. Um, shoot this, I guess. I want you to break the bed. Did that work? No, it didn't work. All right, fine. We're going this way then. Can you reload? All right, this way. Gotta go around the long way. Up this way. I think we're probably clear. Wait, how, how can I can't get through here? Now we can get through. All right, civilian. Oh, another room. Hang on. Let's go Overwatch. There's got to be more of them in here. Oh, there's one right there. Um, yeah, just blast them. Oh, nice. You got a one shot. That's all we have. Oh, Overwatch just in case. Oh, I thought that. Yeah, there is another one. Ooh. Take that. Alright. 22. Uh, I'm going to walk right up on him and blast them. That's how we do things around here. We don't do cover, we just blast people. Civilian, come along. Let's get out of here. Let's go. We can't go that way. This way. Enemy turn. Oh, there is another one in there. Oh. I'm hit. Um, can we just get down down here? Like the hostage is moving. It is moving, right? Yeah. Come on. Oh no, you're not moving. You're waiting until I finish the mission. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Where'd that guy go? There. Nope. Yeah, there he is. 34. It's not very good, but we have unlimited grenades, I guess. We're going to keep on using them. Oh, no. I'm out of grenades. Okay, fine. Uh, shoot him. There. And fire. All right, come on. You got to hit something. Let's go. What are you at? 68? I gotta reload. I guess reloading isn't too bad. Alright, buddy. Take that! Alright. Music's quiet again. Pick up the loot. Hey, you. Come on! Do I have to go up and talk to you? I probably do. Yeah, I gotta go say hey. Hey, buddy. Alright, escort civilian. Now we can go back. So I could have talked to him and ran away, but we didn't. Well, let's go. Move. Come along, everybody. Let's get out of here. Leave this place. And we're going to go around this way. Area is clear, so this shouldn't be an issue. Let's go. On the move. Does he have a gun? You have a gun? What? Are you, why didn't you just shoot your way out then? You don't seem like much of a hostage to me. It's all set up. I wonder if, if go, Binary go, go. will join me now. I, I don't know. I did a mission where I saved a mercenary before. Go, and they go, did go. join me. So maybe we'll get him to join us. I'll take Binary. XP for you. And he's listed there as if he got 50 experience. We'll find out here, I guess. Yes, he is with us now. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Another level one guy. We don't have anything for him. We can give him a minigun or a shotgun if we wanted to. Yes, uh, we need to find some place to buy something. There is places around. Uh, but we need to call a, a day here. This is the uh, right, 30 minute mark here. Thanks again for watching. Again, this is Depth of Extinction. It is available on Steam, GOG, and Itch. I'll have links below. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you next time.